Yo, low key, I had a I had a theory in the shower that almost gave me a panic attack. What? Like dead ass, like in the shower. Like but yo, last night, last night, I, I almost had a shower, panic attack. Shower supposed to be like the most relaxing. <laughs> no, but that that's the time I fucking think. That's like I think so much, right? Yeah. So, okay, here's how the theory goes. Okay. And I'd be doing this shit in the shower like all the time, right? Like I'd be all making right. theories in the shower. All right. But um, it's really weird to think, but English, right? Like we we speak English. That's all we know. Our <laughs> thoughts are our, our thoughts are English. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I'm gonna sound crazy, but like if you really, really deep it, uh -huh. listen, that's all we know. That that's that's what our consciousness is. Mm -hmm. English. Now, this is true. This is a real scientific study. Yeah. That if you if you learn Latin or I think Italian because it's close to Latin, mm -hmm. and you think in it, your brain it moves on a different frequency than everybody else. And you're actually considered smarter. What? Yeah. So if you know Latin, you're smarter. Yeah, it's because your your brain chemistry it works differently, the and that's just the way you think. That's because if you think about we we understand ourselves in English. Ah. Uh. Now here's the craziest part. Ready? Yeah. What if we just randomly start speaking? No English. Oh, this sounds fucking crazy though. I'm gonna <laughs> sound like I'm gonna sound like a nut. <laughs> right, when you do this, shit, I already know. What's I'm gonna going. sound like a nut. But if yeah, you yeah. think about it, like whose choice was it to make it English? Whose choice? I don't know. Bag that, right? Yeah, like, no, think about that know. shit. Think about that. Like, who who decided, okay, we're all speaking English? Yeah, I actually don't know. And it became, like, the language. I guess historically, it was because of the United Kingdom. Uh -huh. And then it transferred over because of all the colonization, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. But this is the way I think it. Mm -hmm. What if speaking in English holds us back with our mind what do you mean i know it sounds weird to say it sounds <laughs> fucking crazy yeah but think about it like this right because you know how they say um if you're really deep in prayer you speak in tongues oh yeah, yeah Latin. And, and then when you do that you're on what a different you're mm. a higher frequency yeah, yeah. Feel me? now what is speaking and understanding everything in english yeah. is holding us back spiritually spiritually okay so we can't go to like the next dimension type shit not yeah, like that too but uh -huh. even like what if we can't even comprehend things or we can't even uh, it's, it's so hard to like yeah, it's so I hard to, to explain this to shit. Get what you're saying this is like this is really like a high type of thought uh -huh. but i wasn't high by the way i'm just like this <laughs> yeah. but that ass because if you think about it every single thing we speak in english mm -hmm. i communicate to you in english my thoughts every day oh i'm gonna eat today oh i yeah, said yeah. it in english mm -hmm. but what if for example aliens yeah. they definitely don't speak english 100 yeah and or maybe they do. If we consider aliens to be like a higher frequency being, they talk in another. They would talk in a different language, right? Mm. So what if it's the language that holds us back? Because we know manifestation is real. Yeah. We know that saying words of affirmation changes our body chemistry, changes yeah, our yeah. even our our life. Okay. So what if it's that powerful that just the language itself is holding us back? What if we could have fucking superpowers mm. and shit? I don't know if but we spoke in a different language in our head. <laughs> I don't know about that. Because it's like the software. No, no, okay, hear me out like this. Like, this, this is a great example. So it's like the software. I yeah. hope I don't sound crazy. No, okay, go. But like, for example, um, you you get it, you get a, a Windows computer. Mm -hmm. The the operating system is Windows. Yeah. Is 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 Windows operating system. You get a Mac, it's Mac OS, mm -hmm. right? What if the operating system, because we're operating on English right now. Yeah. So it's what if, not gonna change. No, look. You think so? Yeah, because you brought up a good point. Say, okay, say we go on that little analogy of, oh, this is Windows. Yeah. You know how like um you're on Amazon and you're like, switch the language. Mm -hmm. It's the same operating system, it's just a different language. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nothing changes. I don't know. I don't know. Because <laughs> it's a language. Because we can't we it's hard to say. Like we can't actually say. Yeah, it. yeah. We can't actually say it. But what I'm thinking is theoretically, mm -hmm. for me, what if it was purposely made that we spoke English so that it holds back the Hold rest back. of society. Mm. And then the people that don't actually use it, yeah, yeah. maybe they use it to communicate to everybody else, mm, but they, yeah. they use a different language internally. Mm. They're so, on some next frequency. That's like, so like you're saying English is like the level one boss. I mean, the level one default player. Mm -hmm. And then like Latin is like uh, the level 100 boss. Okay, th now this is where <laughs> I had the panic attack. You ready? Okay, yeah. I was like, where did the panic attack? This is where I had the panic attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What if that's what possessed you? What? <laughs> possessed what? what? Like Wait, when we speak Latin? No, when we're, when we're speak. So so when you speak in tongues, what, yeah, possesses, yeah. what, what possesses you? The Holy Spirit. Mm. So when we don't speak it, what is possessing us? English. So what is English? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, <'cause> I'm <laughs>
no, no, back that though. Like, I, I, I think I'm onto something. I yeah. just want to know if anybody, anybody else thinks so, like so that. Let me, <laughs> so let me break it down. You're in the shower and you're like, why do we speak English? <laughs> yeah, no, for real. I was dead ass like that. I, I swear to God that. Duh. But obviously the whole world doesn't speak English. Yeah, I'm not yeah. stupid. Uh-huh. But I'm just thinking like, damn, yeah. like we really have majority of the world in our setting. Mm. And that's our way of life. We see it all in English. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. And that's know. kind of like the standard. Because no, because it's not just only us. Like, so English, some, somebody who's born in China, they're they're raised on Chinese. Like, that's their default. Would you say that? Yeah, it yeah, is. Okay, so so there, it's all... I, I, the guess, I guess the same. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was saying. No, I, it's deep in it. No, but it was like, it was like a, a weird thought. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, I, I kind of got where you're going. Because it was like, like the, the speaking in tongues type of thing is like, yeah. okay, if I'm not speaking... In that, and mm. I'm speaking this currently. What is what is possessing me at this moment? Yeah, then? okay, yeah. <laughs> this guy brought it back to the ancestors. And shit like this. Yeah, like, yo, so if they don't speak English, then we're not smart. Like what? Nah, I no, think we're the same. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like interesting <laughs> thought. I don't even know if like I was getting into that <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, this guy. Let, just... let me know because it, it was dead ass giving me a panic attack. I'm like, holy shit, what is life? Alive, man. Because that's all we know. Yeah, we low do. key. That's all we know. Yeah, and if all we know is like. Let's say I consume only content in English. Mm-hmm. There's so much more content in the world, so much more knowledge, so much more like lessons and shit yeah. that hasn't been translated. Mm-hmm. How much am I really missing out on? Now imagine we um not even like languages, languages. Like imagine we can speak squirrel. Yeah, like, like no the or real. gorilla. That, that sounds stupid, but yeah. like it's it, it's actually it's actually fact. That's that's I think that's the um I would put that over aliens. Actually, no, never no, mind. that's like no. the same. That's the same. Yeah, that is the same. That's that the same, same shit. Because it's yeah, just yeah. it's just it's just shit we can't understand we can't comprehend uh-huh. but if we can all co- if we can comp- comprehend like every single th- if we can comprehend like ants mm. there's definitely some shit we can learn i know even if it sounds like so not i guess like i don't know relevant yeah i feel like there's something mm-hmm. that you know that um uh that toad thing that we were talking about too the the psychedelic mm-hmm. uh i think one person was like oh i went out on my body and i started speaking to the animals and i didn't and like i realized there was an earth and like it was, he like almost died and shit. Holy shit. And he was like, oh yeah, I was talking to every animal and like shit like that. But that's like the the next dimension that he went to. Mm. But you can only get that through, you know, animals, toxic shit, you know? I think, I think what it is, it's like you, you, you get like a step inside mm-hmm. and then you can kind of, you kind of move around and, and navigate your way through and communicate that way. Yeah. But it, you're not necessarily there. Mm. I think the afterlife or whatever happens after we die is that's when it's going to really like, yo, the blinds are off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're going to see everything. Like that's really? exactly what we're going to see frequencies and like mm. spiritual things happening. Ha- has your uh, thoughts on afterlife changed? Like, because I remember before you're like, oh, you're just going to go to heaven and stuff. Yeah. But do you really think now like, that's that's different and stuff like that. Like, no, nah, I still believe in heaven. Okay, okay, hundred percent. Yeah, I still hundred percent believe in heaven. I don't think everybody's gonna go. Yeah, that's which is crazy. Do you I, think so? I don't think everybody's gonna go. Like, I don't think everybody's. I don't know, cause I feel like even if you take like a, a person that done super bad, mm-hmm. I feel like God is always gonna be a forgiving. You know what I mean? It's not- like it's not a revengeful God that we look up to, right? I don't know, bro. Which is crazy because it's because who says you're not God? So it's like, who says that that killer can't go to heaven? No, but it says in the in like the book. In the book? Yeah, it says in the Bible. But isn't it always forgiven though? So I'm like, nah, everything's there's there's one sin that's not forgiven. Mm. You know what that is right? No, no, no. blasphemy against uh, the Holy oh, Spirit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's like oh, the one the, unforgivable sin. Yeah, then the baby's not going to heaven. You saw what he did? What was it? In his new music video, he he nailed himself on the cross. Oh and then, um, shit. He had a. Uh, uh, big jewelry on, and people were throwing. Oh shit yeah, at yeah, him. I saw that. I saw yeah, that. yeah. But is it is that blasphemous? Yeah, he was making fun of God. Was like, he making fun of it, or was he just reuniting it? No, but you can't portray yourself as God. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if you're if you're recreating anything, like you can't do that. Mm-hmm. And especially if you're doing it for rap, the devil's like music, you can't do that. Hundred mm. percent to make to make money. No, I guess it just depends. I think this is the way I see it. Yeah, it depends on what the person's actual intent is. Because mm. I th- I think if somebody does something wrong, but their intent wasn't yeah, yeah. wasn't evil. Okay, then I think they're clean. Feel me? Okay, I, I, then I, I, <laughs> I think back what I said. I think more on that side. If you have good intent, you'll you'll be forgiven. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I'm saying. 
No, but there's definitely some evil people that do evil okay. shit with evil intent. Yeah, yeah. Guarantee there's people that do that. They mm-hmm. they trick you, they lie to you, yeah. they snake you. There's real people like that. Mm-hmm. So I think those people they won't because they know the rules. Feel me? I know real they shit. know the rules and they just like. I, I'm gonna do it yeah. anyway. I know. Yo, yesterday there was a big, like, monumental history thing going down. Have you yeah. heard of it? No. Nah. The, the Montgomery Brawl? Wait, wait. In, is this in the... Alabama. Oh, yeah, I've yeah. seen, I seen so, a bit of it. i seen so a bit of it. The whole thing, I'll show you the whole thing. But yeah. it's, it's so funny because it's like, yo, this is going down in history and shit like that. Just because it was like white versus black. You know what I mean? <laughs> and people, and, wait, what happened? Yeah, so, so. Uh, I think um, there was this white family, right? Yeah. That um, went on like a little family trip on a boat and they like, they took the boats out, right? Mm -hmm. And the security guard on the dock was black. Yeah. Right? So when they came back, they had it like parked in like the main spot where big boats Mm -hmm. were supposed to pass through. And then um, the security guard, obviously he's just doing his job. He's like, yo, um, I need you guys to move your boat because another boat is coming on to Mm -hmm. the dock. And guess what? That boat, that boat that was coming on, filled with a bunch of black people right yeah so i don't know why but the white family got mad like they're like oh, i'm not moving my boat like why are you giving me attitude fam he's just doing his job mm-hmm. so what they do like there's three or four white guys jump the black guy they start Damn. they start throwing and and you and every black person is watching across the lake so the security guard he throws his hat up in there like bobby shmurda yeah and then he starts fighting three men but he's getting he's getting fucked up right and then all you see like all the black people like yo he's fighting our brother like you can't do that yeah so one guy they jump in and swim jo- yeah you saw that that's one, crazy. one kid jumps and swims across and picks up the guy body yo swim. so taking like you just swam and so you're tired yo. but he fucking body slams and i'll show you the video it was like um it was like funny toe starts playing and shit like that and they just start jumping the guy let me see i, I don't actually haven't I seen a bit of it, but I didn't know what was really going on. Yeah, I'll play you the parts. So look, so the guy's getting beat, right? Yeah. By by a bunch of white people. Boom, 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 shit happens. And then And then here comes the rescue team. Look, look, look. Swimming. Swimming. Yo. <laughs> like that's how you know it's serious. <laughs> and then boom, like swimming to bang out. And look, 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 look. This is when you know it's so they start skipping and pulling up their pants. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's raps. Oh yeah. Three, three, <laughs> three, three, one. Watch this. Mink. Oh. Fam, and they're beating up the wife. Damn. Yeah, they're beating up the wife too. Look, everyone, everyone. Damn. Big bang out. And then, no, this is the craziest one. Hold on. I'll skip forward. So the two two white boys, look, look. Oh, yeah. It's up. Yeah, you, they, Mink, you have to run away. You have to run Mink. away, bro. <laughs> bro, imagine you see five men and you're just there like, oh, shit. Yo, just, just run away, fam. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. At that point, yo, look. If there's if there's like if you're outnumbered, bro, yeah, you just have to you just have to realize like you're you're not Bruce Lee, yeah. Because a lot of the time I feel like I feel like we have a we have a a conception of ourselves that we can take anybody, yeah. You can't really take nobody, 100. especially if there's if you're outnumbered. Because I was watching John Wick, uh. and I was thinking, damn, I bet if I had a gun like that, I I, I could like take out a whole. No, with a oh. gun though, like no I no would no feel no. Safe. But John Wick, right? <laughs> yeah. Other people are shooting at John Wick. You're not John Wick, bro. Loki. That shit is all. Because I, I was at the gun race, fam. And I'm like, yo, I'm still missing standing straight. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine the stress of like 20 people in the room. <laughs> Holy fuck, would I even hit nobody? <laughs> You're dead, fam. You're dead. That's so unrealistic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I think it's the, the movies and then uh-huh. what we see online. 100%. Remember that. It makes that, you think you're invincible. <laughs> the scene that you showed me in Django. Yeah. Where he was like... There was like 50 mans, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and that. like he was dodging and using the other bodies. Fam, you're not doing that in real life. Yeah. So which is fucked. Shit like that, fam. But yeah, shout out, shout out those guys because like it, it, that saying that every man says is like um fuck around and find out. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, you really think you're gonna beat up a, a man in front of their brothers and they're not gonna ride out for him? Like that just didn't make so sense. it was it was like a family member or no, it was just another black person. Oh like obviously if, if you see a Filipino uh get beat up, you don't know them. But he's getting beat up by like any type of any type of person. That's hard though. Like I'm not gonna put myself in danger if it's really? if it's, if I'm outnumbered. Oh, no, even if he's getting jumped. Are you by yourself? No, we're with we're like I say it's me okay, and you that's and a different. couple that's guys. Different. Yeah. yeah, if it was like a bunch of us, I guess so. So you wouldn't even step up like, if, if a Filipino was getting jumped. No, I would. I would step up. Yeah, I would probably. But I wouldn't. Him. I wouldn't go by myself. <laughs> yeah. No, if it was just me, I would probably. There's no him. way. There's no way I'm jumping in for somebody by myself. By yourself. Ooh. If I don't know that person. Okay. Unless it's like a child, 
Like okay. I'm, I'm saving the day. For, if it's a child, I'm saying I'm Superman. Yeah, you yeah. Feel yeah. Me? Really? But okay. Unless it's like, I don't know. Unless it's like a woman, like an elderly lady, like a child. I, I don't know them like that, man. I'm not jumping in. I gonna lie, like, I don't know. Even if it was, say, it was a child. Yeah. But there was a bunch of like big guys, like with like. No, and I'm riding armed, out. And they're armed. And they're armed. Yeah, and they're, I'm not riding out. Like I'm calling someone, but like I'm not riding out. Fuck, might have to pick up like a trash can or something. Like, I don't being know, so bro. So real, like <laughs> a trash can? No, that's not worth your life. At man. least, at least, like make a make a like a distraction. <laughs> Dude, that's enough, at least, bro. Like say some know. shit and then run away. They'll, they'll all chase you. I don't know, man. But I'm just being real. I don't think I would. For a child, yeah. But and I'm not armed. I'm calling someone, bro. Okay, like, be real. They, they have guns. I'm, yeah, I'm not Deadpool, fam. Okay, if they have guns, it's crazy. That's, That's kind of crazy. That's, That's kind of crazy. Okay. Um, going back to the demonic stuff. Okay. Yeah. This is this is sick because yeah. I I didn't realize it. What's your favorite cookie? Cookie, chocolate, chocolate chip, chocolate chip. Yeah. Okay. That's my go-to. My favorite cookie is Oreos. Okay. I didn't know this. Oreos, bro, uh -huh. are satanic. What? In what <laughs> way? What the fuck? Yo, check this out. No way you're Yo. gonna ruin Oreos. No, this is this is going viral. So <clears throat> pretty much there was this person mm -hmm. and they study symbols. You know Da Vinci Code and then the guy that studies symbols yeah, and shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy studies like symbols and religious symbols specifically. No way there's so Oreos. if you think about it, on an Oreo. You know how that pattern's on the front? It's like, yeah, it's like a checkerboard. It's, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. Because it's like, I don't know, it catches your eye, but you never really you never really decipher like, what is this pattern? Yeah, yeah. Check this out, bro. No way, So man. this is this is viral, fam. This is viral. Isn't it like a checkered board? I swear it is. No, look, look. So <laughs> the cross on the Oreo yeah. is a satanic cross. Maybe? This is a satanic cross right here. So you oh, see the, the top like this? Whoa. And then... So they're saying they're saying like uh you know the Freemason compass yeah 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 it's also this part of the Oreo like the the triangle mm. and then hold on the oh, fuck see this is this is where it gets interesting because mm -hmm. now there's like stars and shit but also let me see the stars where are the stars describe right it there it it makes a star oh like out of the corners, triangles all right? corners fuck but also I know it seems like. A coincidence, but at the same time, what would this design be? Yeah. Now, this is where it gets even crazier. Uh huh. The word Oreo. What the fuck does that mean, bro? <laughs> fuck. What the fuck does Oreo what mean? Is, what does it mean, bro? Where'd they come up with that name? I don't even know. Chips Ahoy? Chocolate chips, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oreo? What is that? What does it mean? The word Oreo originates from an ancient Greek and Egyptian term, Orias, and that is an Egyptian serpent that people used to worship bro what or Oreos or Oreos, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever it's called but yeah what satanic the fuck? crazy yeah i know where did oreo that's uh, that's like we don't that doesn't go through our mind we're just eating it yeah and, and the, the names like that like usually it comes from some type yeah. of like inspiration i know l l let's let's think about like different cookies chips ahoy chocolate there's chips. there's nothing wrong with it to be honest kit kat what does kit kat mean I guess it's just like a... No, I, just, I think that's... I, I actually don't know. Like, I'm thinking it's like something stupid that like... You know how people create Pokemon? It's like a random name. It's just words? Yeah, it's just words. It but I guess, I guess now it's a fucking serpent. I didn't know. Yeah, that's what it's fucking... Can't eat Oreos no more, bro. <laughs> because I, the whole time I just thought it was a checker pattern and like the Oreo thing in the middle. Mm. But yeah. But one thing about Oreos is like... I, yo, comment down below if it's only me, but if I'm... If I don't like have milk, no, no, no. If I'm if I'm not craving an Oreo yeah. and I eat an Oreo, it's like the worst shit ever. What? You get that feeling, but but if I need to be craving an Oreo to eat the Oreo, you know what I mean? Because if I'm not craving it and I eat it, it's shit. It's like the the worst cookie ever. It's very sweet. Yeah, it's hella sweet. Yeah. Oh, did you know um Gatorade? Yo, this <laughs> blew my mind, fam. What about Gatorade? Gatorade? Yeah, yeah. If you drink it when you're not thirsty, it's sour. But if you drink it when you're thirsty, it's sweet. Wait, what? Wow, we have to test that. Low no, key. it's real. It's real. So they, they put a, a specific ingredient uh -huh. that it makes you realize when you're hydrated or dehydrated. So when you're dehydrated, it activates the oh, okay. sugars in it and it, yeah, yeah. it tastes sweeter. Mm. So you know how when you drink Gatorade just regularly, yeah, it, it's sour. Like you don't really want to drink it. Low key. Yo. Right? You, you know, you get the thing like this. Oh. Like, oh, it's sour. Like you don't want to drink it. Yeah, yeah. Fam. Go run, and, come, and back, come back, drink it. It tastes sweet. Okay, crazy. So, 
so is that in that's probably in every like um hydrating beverage that needs to get like you energy right i don't know if it, i know specifically gatorade has it okay mm, so watch I, I have a theory so uh all those people doing prime reviews yeah they're not running before it they're not they're so not it's gonna taste it like shit taste good. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. so it, even if it passes the test uh no running then it's a good like beverage but imagine someone runs Someone, uh, if if you do a prime, uh, th- uh, like a what do you call that? Like a marathon? No, no, like, yeah. Imagine you do a marathon and you come back. Prime probably tastes like the best shit ever. Mm. So you can't you can't like taste prime unless you run and shit because that's really what it's yeah, for. Yeah, because it is. That's what it's it for. is technically a thing. Yeah, but I heard prime's like really bad for you too. It's just like artificial sweetener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But everything's like artificial sweetener now. One thing I I, I miss is that um, I don't know. It, it was probably really bad for me, but the Milo. In the oh, Philippines, is where that bad for you? Why is it bad? I, I don't know because I would just not and not any liquid. It's like I would just eat it out the package. I think that's okay. It's just chocolate, that's okay. right? Okay, okay. I think. I hope. Yeah, hopefully, Shit. I was doubting a bunch of those packages. Shit, man, I don't know, bro. But yeah, I was doubting a bunch of those packages. I'm, I'm just the the only thing I'm scared of is like you know how once in a while we'll hear a, a news update yeah. like. Oh, recall on this shit. If oh. you've been eating this, you might have cancer. Yeah. Like, knock on wood. But you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's stuff like that. I don't know where. Boom. Mm-hmm. Y'all didn't know. Yeah. Y'all know now. And then, fuck, it's too late. See, in one of those things, it's like, I would rather not know. I guess, because it's already over. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, but it's I don't already know. over. I, I don't know why in situations like that, I would rather <laughs> never know. Like, even if it's bad news on me, like, just I would find out word? when I find out. Yeah, bro. So, if, if your girl is cheating on you, for like seven years, you wouldn't want to know until like you guys are broken up. Shit, th- I wouldn't want to know until I I die. <laughs> I'm like, damn, keep that shit in the grave. Like it doesn't affect me. You know what I mean? I I, I see your point though. Yeah. I see your point because like the more you know, it's like it hurts more. Or it's like you, not the more you know. It's like the if you don't know the problems are there, then you don't have no problem. Like, uh, I don't know. I'm I'm like anti that just really? because just because I I feel like um you shouldn't be deceived. Deceived? I just hate I just hate that concept of being deceived. Mm, I guess not not just on me, but like on everyone. Like I never want somebody to be deceived. Okay, so yeah, it's like that, like that guilt you have. Yeah, it's like fuck. I, I wouldn't really like if if I get let, that, let's let's honest. say there's someone living their best life, mm. but their best life is fabricated by somebody else profiting off of them. Yeah, they're like damn. Damn, they're just gonna we're just gonna allow that and like not tell the bro mm, i don't know because i see <laughs> i seen this video it was super funny yeah <clears throat> it was viral on tiktok too so there was this like woman mm-hmm. who was uh he, she was sledding down the mountain mm-hmm. right and she had headphones on and she didn't she wasn't not aware of any of her surroundings yeah and the whole time she's like in the video i'll show you she's like work work work, work. and she's like ha- living her best life right mm-hmm. she starts sledding down the mountain and a bear is literally behind her and she's vlogging oh, this shit. whole thing, like sliding with her. Yeah, I'll show you the video. It's fucking creepy because you can hear the the like the moans and the growls no. of the bear the whole time. She doesn't know. So oh, she, because she has the headphones so, on. So she's singing work, work, work the whole time. The bear's the back. <laughs> yeah, no, Lily, that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fam, that exact noise. Look. So look. <laughs> Let me know if you hear the bear already. Yeah, you can hear it. It's not like a horse. Look, 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 look. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's chasing it. And look, it'll, it'll go out of frame, but look. Again, it'll go back. It'll back up Yo, that's fucked. She doesn't know. Did she get away? Yeah, she got away. But imagine she fell or she stopped. Oh shit. She's dead, fam. But she got away. Because think about it. Theory, mm. if if she if she noticed, she would have stumbled. Yeah, you know that's what, I mean? what I'm saying. If she noticed, she would have stumbled off and then she would have got eaten. That's what I'm but saying. But because bro. she didn't know, there's no pressure. <laughs> there's no pressure. She's exactly, chilling. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that that shit came back off it. Yo, do it again. <laughs> Bro, that shit came back on frame and that shit was growling, bro. Fuck, like, bro. I would be scared as shit, man. See, but if you could like understand bears, you could you would understand exactly what they're saying. See, bro. It all comes back around. Do you think if if you could communicate with animals, you'd be able to like negotiate and shit? Hundred, yeah. I would probably be um what's what's the one person you would like or the one animal you would get the Probably closest? my dog, because I see my dog oh, every yeah, day. Oh, yeah, dog, yeah. But like I I would just 
it would just be more helpful to to clean up shit off the floor. Like, I guess, like stop pooing. I, I feel like your dog is a basic answer though. It's like your dog is just a human. Nah, nah, dog's not a human. Chill. Yeah, it's like oh, it doesn't do anything except walk and shit. Like that's it. No, but it's like okay. You ever you ever had those feelings of you do something every day, but you don't realize what you've done. You don't realize like you, you don't done. realize everything you. You're not aware oh, of everything you're you do. You're just doing it. It's like you're in the motion. Yeah. Mm. So it's almost like a flow state and you don't actually see what's going on. Gotcha. So example, great example. Let's say let's say you're playing a sport, mm -hmm. but your coach sees what you're messing up on, but you don't. Mm, you're just going, it's like nature. Yeah. So imagine you have a pet that sees you every single day oh, okay. and sees how you interact Yeah, yeah. yeah. and sees where you're fucking up. <laughs> but uh, that's like having a sibling too, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's like, I guess it's, it's kind of the same. It's literally right. just talking to the human. Shit, you're right, bro. Like imagine you go, like, since you love the zoo, oh man, and you could talk to any animal fam. But definitely all of those animals are depressed. Like yeah, they wouldn't even want to talk to me. Yeah, low key. It was just like, yo, can you get me out? That's, that's, that's sad. That's the only convo. That shit is sad, fam. Fuck, fam. Yo, that's depressing. Yeah. If you could, if you could talk to animals, you go to the zoo. That's like, holy shit. That's like going to prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just talking to inmates, and all the inmates are like, "Yo, take me out of here. Take me out. I can't. I can't live." Yeah. But then on your movie shit, you would probably like, you would want to create like the over the hedge thing and like gather a bunch of animals like in the wild and then break them out. That'd be kind of That's hundred percent the first fire. thing. The first thing you do if you have that that power, you're definitely creating a movie. You're like, what's a what's a Zootopia movie that I can find? <laughs> Yo, Loki, that would be a fire movie for um for just like talking to animals in the zoo. Yeah, except you just remix it. Yeah, that's like Doctor Doolittle, but like dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, bro. Cause we see animals every single day. Mm -hmm. For example, like a fly. Yeah. You don't really know what's going on. Nah, you know what? Yeah. I feel like flies don't have a brain capacity to like give me useful information though. Oh, you think it's just dumb? It just flies around. No, nah, like if, if mosquitoes do though. Probably. Why would mosquitoes? A mosquito would definitely be f smarter than a fly, because mosquitoes actually need to like, they need to, uh, like look at the person, see if they're sweating. Oh, yeah. let's get that blood. Flies just fly around. Mm. Like, I actually don't know what the purpose of fly is. Flies? Yeah, like, I don't know what are what yeah. are the purpose of flies. <laughs> like I don't think they like bees. Like they go to flower, they go to flowers and like they create like shit. No mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are made because um they keep us out of the wilderness. Yeah, no, exactly. So we're but not what supposed is, to be there. But what is a fly doing? Oh no, it's for decomposition. That's what they're for? Yeah, for like <clears throat> it's for like decomposing, decaying like oh. animal products. Cause the flies plant their larva oh, okay, yeah. and they eat it up and the grub like eats it. Yeah, yeah. My and bad. It, it decomposes, flies. right? <laughs> yeah. But I think um No, you know, um I heard this thing where where chilies mm. wait, what do you mean chilies? You know, like hot chilies. Oh yeah. If you think about it, when you eat a hot chili, mm. it's spicy. The spice is actually their defense mechanism, so you don't eat it. Their defense so mechanism. So it's a defense mechanism, but it failed them because we ended up liking the taste of spice. Oh. Because that's why they're spicy is so that we don't eat it. Really? Yeah. That's like a plant's defense. Mm. I, I know there's like a couple of plants that have like certain defenses like that. The, um, the cassava, you know, cause cassava. cassava cake, right? Yeah, yeah. The cassava plant. Is actually mad poisonous. Oh, it's actually made. Wait, cassava cake is actually made of cassava I, plant. I, I, there's, like, there's parts. There's parts of it oh, you okay, can. That's an ingredient. Yeah, there's there's parts of it you can, but the plant itself is like poisonous. Like really? you could die. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was like a cult that used the the poison of the cassava. Yeah, and it killed like all their members. Damn. This was like um shit. I forgot where it was exactly. So it wiped out a whole village just because they ate it. Yeah, there was like they were doing some ritual with it, and then like Fuck. killed everybody because it was a poison. Yeah, it's like Jim Jones type of thing, mm, okay. but very small, very small, like smaller scale. Yeah, yeah. I saw this on like uh, what's it called Discovery Channel. Discovery Channel. Yo, because of Discovery Channel, uh -huh. I feel like kids aren't getting educated outside of school, fam. Mm. Unless they're actually like tuning into shit. Yeah, yeah. Because. Yeah. Think about it like back in the day, what was really educating us besides school? I mean, the, the Nickelodeon, no, low key back then, Zabumafu? yeah, Zabumafu. yeah, but I'm saying right now, no right now, kids. there's nothing, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. No, there's nothing. This is, yeah, this is it right here, but it's all bad, it's not teaching us nothing, yeah. Like, if you really bag it, like your first, uh, I, I think what Justin told you is like, if you're on, if the first thing you do is on your phone in the morning, mm -hmm. it creates already like bad, like the motions are not gonna. Are not gonna click throughout the day because all you're thinking is already negative shit. Yeah, that's right? what. I, yeah, that's what I was saying yeah, before. Yeah. Like it's it's the the news effect. Like if if you listen to like depressing stuff in the morning, yeah, you yeah. should never listen to the news in the morning because mm -hmm. it's just all negative. Yeah, and it's like low key. Uh, it's low key programming you. Programming to what? 
just like follow just the. Be depressed, man. Yeah. Do you think? Okay, this is getting some like, some like red bill shit. Mm, yeah, yeah. But do you think there's actually an agenda to make men weak? Do you men think that's weak. an actual thing? I think so. Yeah. I low key think so. Yeah. Like if, if we if we just like open our eyes and try if to you really pay bag attention. what's going on. Like um before I think they they tried to push the boundary like thug wearing a skirt. Mm. That was crazy. But then it's like no, it but that's really not making it weak though. Like it is. Why though? It's just a dress, fam. No, but I think they're trying to push guys more being more feminine and being more comfortable. You know, they're trying to get the toxic masculinity out the way completely. I think. I think <clears throat> that that's like the more obvious thing. But I yeah. don't think that's the problem. I think the oh, biggest problem. Like, the biggest problem, bro, mm -hmm. is I think it's because of porn. Porn. Did you know, men's testosterone was like the lowest in history. Right now? Right now. Because what? Because access to porn, fam. Low key. Yeah. Because we, we just get the nut off and then you don't so have to. It's so easy, yeah. too. So it doesn't have... And it, let's say you do it every day. Yeah. You ruin, you ruin your testosterone. Mm, yeah, And key. there's so many... Um, there's a lot of like people that say, oh, no, it's natural. It's good for you. Mm -hmm. Definitely not every day is good for you. Not every day, yeah. Definitely not. Mm -hmm. Maybe like once in a blue moon, but like... Even still, I feel like that's terrible for you. Terrible. I think just pornography in general is terrible mm, for you. Yeah, yeah. I know because back then, bro, you would have to like slam the computer, like like hit it a few times to get your porn. <laughs> but now it's No, like, before they had shit. Yeah, like you go to the Chinese market, you get like, your little porn CD, you put it in. But now it's just like two types and you're in there. Like, yeah, that's and, crazy. And there's, the, there's like a little thing like, oh, are you 18? You just click yeah, even though you're not and it'll let you in. There's like no, uh, you know how there's like two-step security in yeah, emails? Yeah, yeah. There's none of that two-step Holy shit, there's not, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if your business earns millions or tens of millions of revenue, stop what you're doing and take a listen because NetSuite by Oracle had just rolled out the best offer we've ever seen. NetSuite gives you the visibility and control you need to make better decisions faster. And for the first time in NetSuite's 25 years as the number one cloud financial system, you guys can defer payments of a full NetSuite implementation for six months. That's no payment and no interest for six months and you can take advantage of this special financing offer today. NetSuite is number one because they give your business everything you guys need in real time all in one place to reduce manual processes boost efficiency build forecasts and increase productivity across every department so for all you guys who own a business you guys have the power of having all this information in one place to make better decisions so more than 36,000 companies have already upgraded to NetSuite gaining visibility and control over their financials inventory HR e-commerce and more so if you've been sizing NetSuite up to make the switch then you know this deal is unprecedented no interest, no payments. Take advantage of this special finance offer at netsuite.com slash jumpers, J-U-M-P-E-R-S, netsuite.com slash jumpers to get the visibility and control you need to weather any storm, netsuite.com slash jumpers. I think there was like way, way, way back though. Way back? Yeah, so yeah they way, just like I think they took it out though. Yeah, yeah. Like way, way, way back, I could recall. Like mm. you have to, you have to put in your birthday. Yeah. Did you see the 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 porn documentary? They made yeah. a whole um documentary for it, and it was like they were getting um, uh, the porn industry was getting so big because other people would take like videos from like the main sites that you had to pay to, yeah, and then make like these uh those counterfeit websites and shit like that. Mm. But but the PH will always like they bought they invested millions into what do you call that that when you type it. When you type P, mm. like it will show up first. What's that called? Fuck. Um, it's a uh, like you know how uh YouTube hot, like keywords yeah and keywords shit. like keywords like they invested billions so PH would be the first one ever. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's like they're, they're yeah their they're industry is that. big. Their industry is big, but you know Travis and Ye linked up, so God is coming. You fool. <laughs> God is coming. no dead ass. Like my my theory on the last episode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dead ass, I, th I, th I think like the world might end soon. Yeah. Man. Oh, I have another theory on YK Osiris. Why? So you know how um, he had like these, this whole time where he's like uh, going through it on Instagram live and shit. Like he's humiliating himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and now literally he, I don't think he dropped music for a bunch of times. Or if he did drop music, it was shit. But now. Like we didn't hear about it. Yeah, but now he dropped like a banger. Mm -hmm. And I knew it was coming soon because all of the humiliation rituals he'd already did. So yeah. he definitely tried to come back to God and he's like, ah, I fuck that. Like, I'm not making no money. So he dropped the banger. Like his mm. new song is like on the type of like, 
and you love me like real R and B like mm. it's fire. I I personally like YK or Cyrus's music. Yeah, I always thought he was fire. But he was going through it. But I think it's just um, it's because it's because we kind of attach the person to the music, and then the music sounds better or worse depending on what your image of the person is. Yeah, yeah. Like there's definitely um. You know, for example, Sia. Mm-hmm. You know how she's she never shows her face. Oh yeah, yeah. She never showed her face. So theory is that she wasn't that attractive, <laughs> but she didn't want to like discredit her music mm. because maybe maybe because a lot of it's a like lot of the privilege. singers at the time were what very beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you saw like a quote unquote like an uglier person making such great music, maybe the music wouldn't do as well. Mm. Maybe that was even like the, her manager saying like, "Yo, probably. Maybe you gotta hide your face and shit." Like I that's know. it's fucked to say, but I if know. you think about it, that's just how business is sometimes. I know, but you know, it's crazy though. It's like you know how Billie Eilish is so big, but she never used her body to be up. Like that's still Billie Eilish. Yeah, Billie Eilish. Like you know how like when she she obviously people know what she looks like with it. she always like wears baggy t shirts covers yeah, yeah, her yeah. body, but she's still one of the biggest, which is like that's really good. Like no, she's just the biggest because she her talent, fam. Yeah, she's I know that's what I'm talented. saying. So like she didn't pull a C and be like, oh, I just need to fucking uh, show my titties and I'll be big, shit like that. Oh, word. You know what I mean, no, but I think that's just the culture of of now. Like mm-hmm. it's, it's almost like a trend. Like you kind of have to sexualize yourself. Yeah, yeah. Because if you don't sexualize yourself as a woman, then it's like. I don't know. It's it's it, especially in the in the entertainment industry. It's like yeah, you they have. see they see it as oh, that's untapped opportunity. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like it's always yeah, that's fucked I know. up. It's super fucked. Like that's the main thing. You watch the Idol? Oh yeah, I did for a bit, a, a couple episodes. I didn't finish it. I didn't finish it. Was it. Tra- <laughs> I didn't. Fin- <laughs> the weekend, yo, the weekend, yo, but I like dead ass uh-huh. theory. That's probably just based on someone's true life. So like the director probably just was like okay. It's a, a mid storyline, but let's just like get a bunch of characters, like big influencers. Nah, I think like it's it's actually based on somebody. Yeah. Cause they talked a lot about like Britney Spears. They talked about like Miley oh, Cyrus. Oh, so you think this whole thing is a diss? I think it's it's low key like a tap into somebody's life. Damn. Like it, it it's it's lowest key about somebody, mm-hmm. but we don't really know who and we have to find out for ourselves. Yeah. That's just a theory for me. Like, who knows? Because <laughs> nah, those lines that the weekends were saying, mate, those are personal lines, fam. <laughs> yeah. Like, usually, like, when you're writing a script, you wouldn't, like, um, you wouldn't do, I don't know. It's like, you have to write it to it's, a point it's, where it's, it's not It's inspired, cringe. right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's usually inspired. Yeah. But lo- Loki is like, they took that direct <laughs> quote and they tried to put it on. <laughs> no, why, the, why are you grumbling my the, girl, the bro? Pro- the, problem with <laughs> the problem with the weekend yeah. is because um, we kind of expect something from him. Mm-hmm. That's not matching up to his his music. Okay. So like we listen to weekend's music all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we kind of put like an imagination on how the weekend would converse it. Mm-hmm. But we haven't heard him speak, bro. And yeah, we don't really out. hear him speak. He barely does interviews and shit. Yeah, yeah. So when you see him in a character like that, mm-hmm. talk like that, it's like, oh, what the? Uh, it's not right. True, true. It true. doesn't feel right. Okay, yo. So back back on the, on that term. Yeah. So since you're writing and you're literally acting in your yeah, own yeah, movie, yeah. do you think people would take away from your acting? Because oh, nah. You know why? Because you're a because they only see you as a podcast. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the first thing they think of. Mm. Do you think so? No, because I'm writing it as me. Like I'm li- like I don't have to act. <laughs> 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 like I'm I'm dead ass just. I'm just on screen. Like, it's not even... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the lines I'm probably going to improv to. <laughs> feel me? <laughs> yeah, never mind. The question... Okay, okay. okay maybe so, not you. That's a bad... That's a bad example. But maybe, like, you have Sahar in it, right? Yeah. Oh, because... I think it's because, like... She, has to, she doesn't Sahar. make the character? Yeah. Like, it's we would It's different when you're that. the director. Yeah. Because <clears throat> since I'm working on it with my sister, I'm kind of, like, writing it, too. Mm-hmm. It's It's easier for me to, like... Just write a, a very genuine and accurate <laughs> representation of somebody. Yeah. But usually when like a director is writing a movie, mm-hmm. they would write the character first and then cast who would kind of fit it. Okay. And it's like a puzzle piece, right? Do they really match? Yeah, yeah. The way I kind of want to write it is like I kind of want to know who I'm I'm picking first mm-hmm. and write it in kind of their persona. Because mm, okay. I feel like that's the most genuine. It's the most like believable. Damn. So you're doing the opposite. So you I'm doing cast. the opposite because I think that's how it should be done. Yeah, but the business way uh-huh. is the other way. Obviously, because movies have. Well, fuck timelines. the business for me. I'm 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 out here for the arts. <laughs> a lie, no, because you don't have a timeline. So it's like you mm. do have a timeline, but like movies, like they have strict timelines. Like they get gotta yeah, get it there's out. money and shit. There's yeah. producers involved. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, 
I remember Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. John Travolta. They didn't want him to be casted. Like they wanted like other people to be casted, like bigger names. Yeah, yeah. Just because it would bring more, I guess, attention to the movie. Mm. All the producers like, yo, you really want to cast him? You really want to cast him? Because at this point, John Travolta, I think he was in like a low point of his career. Yeah. And then, but Quentin Tarantino was like, nah, I want to, I want to give him a, another shot. Mm -hmm. So the beauty of him, he actually took a lot of actors that were falling off, quote unquote. Oh, and brought, and, and brought them back to the screen. Like um, in Kill Bill, mm -hmm. Bill, the villain, yeah. he's actually like, he was he was a really big actor yeah. for a big series and a, a lot of big movies. But what happened, like he disappeared. You know those those celebrities you go, whatever happened to? Yeah, yeah. That That's one of them. Mm. So he took him and put him in the movie. That's kind of sick. And gave him like the starlet. This, yeah, yeah. No, that's kind of fire. No, that's like, it, so an NBA team, like you put a, a mediocre guy but he's still in the nba but you put him on a shit team mm -hmm. with no all-stars he's gonna he's gonna show out mm. you know what i mean but people just don't get the opportunity because it's it's almost like um seeing the real talent where nobody's looking yeah exactly and i think that's where you find the hidden gems is when nobody's yeah. looking there mm -hmm. because a lot of those people have something to prove yeah and you know conor mcgregor you know the the ultimate fighter like yeah, the yeah. conor mcgregor and the other guy i forgot his name but they're doing like the the teams yeah yeah so the beginning of the show, they're like, okay, who do you want? Do you want the do you want the old fighters, the seniors that mm. had a shot in the UFC already? Or do you want the new the fresh fresh blood? Mm. Conor McGregor, who do you choose? Probably the new. Yeah, he chose the fresh blood. Yeah. But the other guy he chose the old, obviously. The old. But Connor's on some. No. The other guy was smarter. What? Yeah. So the guy that chose the the older fighters, uh huh. Yo, he, he's actually smart. Cause he said these guys they had their shot and failed. They have the most to prove. These young guys, they're fresh on the scene. It's like mm. a ticket to the NBA. Like they feel like they already made it. I guess. And guess who's winning? Yeah, the, the older old, guys. the older guys. Really? Yeah. I really thought that the younger guys would pull it out though. I don't know how it is exactly right now. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know what the standings are right now. Mm -hmm. But I know like, yo, the older guys were kicking that. Yeah, ass I know. Like, I think McGregor only had like one win. Yeah, something like that. Which is crazy. That's what I'm saying, right? Wait, we're not. We're not talking about like age though, right? We're talking experience, like the older guys. I think older and experience. Oh, older and experience. I think, I think both. I think both. And the young guys couldn't even fucking pull it out. You guys are faster and you guys, what? No, but it's not necessarily that, especially in fighting. I guess. Especially I guess. in fighting, right? You need some type of experience. Yeah, because it's, it's more like, it's a lot of chess, you yeah. know what I mean? Unless you have like a really, really smart young fighter. Yeah. But it's not to say like young fighters couldn't kick their ass. Young yeah, fighters yeah, yeah. could definitely kick their ass. But I think it's it's more of like the mentality. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, this is this they already had their shot. It's it's like a guy that got his heart broke. Mm, and needs to go prove some yeah, chip on his shoulders still. Yeah, he has to prove some shit. Yeah. Like these young guys, they come on, like, oh, they think, oh, I already made it. Yeah. I'm here already. I'm on the screen, feel me? I know. I think the the smartest thing that every parent could do is just like um basketball taekwondo or mixed martial arts always put them up against like a, a fighter that's way better than them because that's the only way you learn mm. you feel me you get beat up yeah but like okay you're you're leveling up somehow you're like you're learning shit somehow <laughs> you know what I mean? if you could go back in time and yeah. fight anybody who would you fight fight anyone yeah fight somebody like out of spite out of spite <laughs> who'd, you, who'd you just want to like fight fuck <laughs> i don't even know <laughs> who would you fight probably like are we talking like celebrity and like no, friends? No, anybody. It could be anybody. Oh, it could be anybody in your life, bro. I actually don't know. That's a good question, though. It's a good question, right? Yeah. Like, I would train with like probably... Oh, oh wait. Actually, Mighty Mouse. I would fight Mighty Mouse. Fuck, you get killed. Are you crazy? <laughs> no, but, but like, oh, we're talking about sparring? <laughs> yeah. The guy thinks he's Bradley Martin. <laughs> like, Yo, I'm Yo, 250, I'm though. I'm 250. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> Head ass, bro. Yeah, I actually love Bradley <laughs> Would I fuck you over in a street fight, bro? I would just, I would just run at you, bro. <laughs> nah, bro, that's actually so stupid. Yo, but he actually thinks that though. He yeah, he thinks like, like genuinely he believes like he. No, can... but he has a point. Like he kind of has a point. Like he does have a point. Yeah, but at the same time, he's, he's a not pro getting... fighter, <laughs> fam. That's a pro fighter. He's not getting there. You know what I mean? Like you're not getting to that point where you think you're getting. It's not a walk in the park. Yeah, it's not. It's not. A, <laughs> definitely not a walk in the park. Doki, that's a fair fight though. I would want to see that fight. Like what, Devin Haney and uh, 
and and yeah, someone like that. But yeah. we we literally saw it with Logan Paul and thing yeah. and Floyd Mayweather. We literally saw exactly what happened. Exactly, exactly. Ah, kind of because he got in. Like he saw Logan Paul. Yeah, like he made it to the eighth round. So it's like fuck. Nah, he kind of had a point. Mayweather could have knocked him out. Kind of had a point. Man. Mayweather knocked him out actually. No, he you didn't. didn't. You didn't see that one. Oh, like when he like went like this. Yeah, he could have knocked him out right there. Really, I don't know. A lot of these fam. The recent fight with Nate Diaz mm-hmm. fixed. Fi- no, it wasn't, bro. Nate isn't just not like that no more. Okay. Forget, forget like what you saw. Yeah. And what I saw, bro, he's he's not trying. Yeah, me. he wasn't trying. But it's not like they told him not to try. Like that's just him. Okay. <clears throat> so you don't think even a little bit that Jake Paul wouldn't give him some extra money to throw a fight? Because this has been done before. Yeah, but I think it's like... In history with pro fighters, mm-hmm. let alone YouTube. But I think since it's YouTube boxing, like, their rules are different. So it's like, money is laid out on the table, so that's all you're going to get. Nah, that's bullshit. No, that is. like it, It's not money laid on the table. There could be, like, side deals under the table. Maybe, but it's YouTube boxing, bro. It's not no, like... Exactly. That's why, it's, that's why it's even more prominent. Like, they would fix it. Because mm. it's YouTube and shit. Yeah. At least it's not illegal. <laughs> I Actually, guess. is it legal because it's pro? Yeah, maybe. I mean, like, it, it, they've done it in pro fights yeah, before. Yeah, they've done it in pro fights. But I'm like, man, I don't know because it's like, I seen an interview where a guy was like, oh, I was fighting Nate Diaz and like, I, he would punch, he would get punched. Yeah. He's like, oh, yo, fuck that. And then he would throw up his like little thing. And that's the exact same thing when uh, I saw Jake throw something and he, uh, I think Diaz literally went out the, like, he looked over the ring. Like, he was like done. Like, he was hugging on the ropes. No, and came it's back fake, like, bro. No, it's bro. not. It's the the fight isn't fake, mm-hmm. but like everything is fixed. It's 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 entertainment. Yeah. It's not even. It's not even to test. You think it's actually to test their physical abilities? No, hell no. Yeah, no, one hundred percent. This is what it grab. is. It's literally just. This is what Jake Paul's doing. <laughs> Getting the biggest name, trying to get the biggest fight, right timing, making the money, dip, yeah. rinse, 100. go again, go again, yeah. rinse, same, go again, same pattern, exact same. Boom. And he doesn't have to actually, like, hurt himself. Yeah, you know the media, the, the media practice when you have to, like, show, like, a bunch of cameramen are, like, around the boxing ring. Yeah. And, like, you're showing them on the pads. Nate Diaz, all he did, I don't know if you know this, he walked around for f- five minutes and left. Word. Like, he's not serious, bro. I'm telling you. It was, it was a, like, yeah. he wasn't preparing at all. He was probably drunk. <laughs> yeah. During the fight. Low key. <clears throat> nah, because uh, at this point, fam, I don't, I'm not going to believe any of that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I don't man, be- you believe what you believe. I don't believe any of that shit. If I see it, if I see it, I see what's going on. But like, in the back of my head, I'm like, yo, it could just be fixed. Yeah. You never know, fixed. bro. If, I don't know. Yeah. If I was in the same situation and somebody was telling me like, oh, would you fix a fight for me? Mm-hmm. I would take the money quick. Yeah. You're just gaslighting the fans. Yeah. But it's just entertainment too. Yeah. And it's good for you. If there's a clear benefit in both sides. Yeah. Shit, why not? That's true. I would take the money too. Like if, for example, like a podcast too. Mm-hmm. Let's say, let's say, yo, do you what think happened? this is this? Yo, this is literally Bobby's podcast. What? Oh, like if um, you play a character and you just get paid? Yeah, that's literally, mm. that's literally what it is. Yeah, because I don't know if you saw in the news when uh, she got interviewed on the news. That shit is a character. I actually thought that was like... No, it's, key, it's been a character. No, yeah. but I low-key thought like some of it was like she's just awkward in person. And she... She turned out to to develop it as a character, you know. I feel like she's kind of genuine with it because she's a good actress. Yeah, no, so I she feel like is. there's some truth to it. Yeah, she turned it on like this, like on the news thing, and like she turned it off right away. I'm like, oh shit, she's like, that's good. Yeah, <clears throat> I think there's gonna be more of those. Yeah, you just can already like, see talk, it. talking like just chill. You can already uh, see it. Um, Lil Yachty started a podcast, super chill. Like they're just oh, Lil Yachty yeah, has a podcast. They're, they're literally on the couch. They're on the couch and like he's on his like weird ass couch. And there's just who's been on that. Uh, Kai, um, like big names, you know. Wow, everybody yeah. has a podcast now. That's kind but of crazy. I, but I fuck with Yadi because he like in an interview he said, um, "Oh, you have a podcast now." He's like, "Oh, are you doing it for you?" He's like, "No, because I want my friend to get rich, which I rate." Oh, so his, it's his boy that's yeah, that's his, like managing his, it? his boy. His boy is not really like known anywhere. Like I've never seen his boy before, but he put his boy in position to make money. Mm. You know what I mean? And I fuck with that, like. That's that's low key how you should be. First, it should be you, then mm. your family, then all your friends and family that stuck with you through those hard times. You know. Yeah. What's your plan to to accomplish that? Accomplish that? I have no plan right now. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I don't know. Just keep working hard and then make sure I retire my parents first. Yeah. And then hopefully, since we're running like an empire, yeah, there's like a route that goes off and like I can 
add him into my team like drake yeah like yeah, drake yeah. has a good plan like he he got famous but he just added his boys as a team he just hired his boys exactly, exactly so yeah. one guy's a security guard fuck it and then nico i don't know what the fuck nico does Nico does uh the clothing brand yeah i know exactly but like if if drake wasn't there like you feel me he wouldn't no, not judge on nico but he was how different position. do you think like the world would be without drake <laughs> how different toronto would be without drake Toronto would Damn. Not. Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah. <clears throat> Who would be the next biggest artist out of Toronto? I guess The Weeknd. The, or, or Justin Bieber. No, Justin Bieber would rule. He would be the Drake. No, but he wouldn't be the Drake, though. He wouldn't be like, mans are trying to be like, would. Because, man, because would you even say it, people are trying to be. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah. so, <laughs> fam, it's a white boy that gets all the, the views, fam. So it goes Drake, then Justin Bieber, fam. I don't know what else. Is I don't think it would be Justin Bieber. What? I th- so you're saying Weekend is over Justin Bieber? No, I th- I'm crazy. saying like culture wise. Culture wise? Yeah. <laughs> Loki, if we're talking. Oh, no, no. No, no. Yeah. Impossible, impossible. It's always <laughs> relax, relax. <laughs> Justin so Bieber over it? Nah. No. Cult- culture wise, it, it might be even somebody else. Who? I don't know. Sean Mendes. I'm just kidding. Nah, definitely not. I haven't heard. But maybe the absence uh-huh. of Drake would open opportunities for a lot more people. Which is crazy because he has that opportunity now, but he just, I don't know, I, maybe he's just still focusing on him and his boys. Like maybe he, no one helped him at the beginning. So he's not, he's on that wave is like, I'm not going to help anyone out. No, I'm kind of saying like, if there wasn't Mike Tyson or sorry, if there wasn't Muhammad. Floyd Mayweather, who would be the greatest boxer? Mm. If there wasn't, you know what I mean? Michael Jordan, it would easily be like Kobe. LeBron, I don't know. But yeah, low-key. Or it might have not even been Kobe. It's just like a random like mailman. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it would have been... Yeah, because Kobe grew up. So like history would have changed. Yeah, and yeah. it's like a butterfly effect of oh. like who would have been at this game, who would have been at that game. No, real Who would have been inspired by who if it wasn't for that? Yeah. Would there be some rappers that came out of like mm-hmm. different cities across the world? Yeah. That would have been like, oh shit, maybe rapping's not for me if they didn't hear Drake. Yeah. Right? No, but like that goes for everything. Like even small. Like if it wasn't for Jumper Jump, there wouldn't be a yeah. There wouldn't be like other podcasts. Yeah. Nobodies. Yeah. Holy shit. Which is crazy. Like imagine we never started that. Like, or we went into something. Or you just continue clothes, and then and then um in the timeline, some kid that looked up to you for clothes now has a big clothing brand. But now since we do podcasting, his opportunity wasn't there. So <laughs> do you, do you know do you know the theory like um every single idea uh-huh. every idea is living. Yeah. You heard that that theory? Mm-hmm. So it's not necessarily that you have it. Yeah. It's the time for it. Mm. And it, it's like traveling and going and going and going. And yeah. it's like, it's living and breathing and somehow it's going to manifest itself. Mm-hmm. Isn't that crazy to think? Yeah, that is real. Because I think that's like everything. Because for example, like airplanes, right? The mm-hmm. first person to think of an airplane Maybe it was exactly that time for it to actually come to life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what if the concept, the spirit of airplane itself yeah. was like, I'm ready to be invented type shit? No, real shit. That's why it's like um, when I'm designing shit mm. and I'll sit down and like, if I'm trying too hard like to perfect it and it's not coming to me, like, it wasn't meant to be. Like, I'll just revisit that, you know? Mm-hmm. But if like, I know, like, I, I remember um, when I first made the, my first Pretty Boy hoodie, I put down the, the hoodie and I was like um, ironing on the design. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, I don't know if it's going to all fit in this little like this square. Mm-hmm. Right. And they all fit perfectly. And Lily is like, you know, when you um, hear a song and it's good. Yeah. yeah, and, yeah. Like you'd make this face like, <laughs> like I was like, damn, this shit's fire. <laughs> like, I knew it was meant to be. It was meant to be because it fit perfect. Yeah. 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 Mm. But I think that the craziest feeling I had was when um, the podcast started because I was like, yeah, I wasn't even thinking like if it was going to blow up. Like it's it was so crazy. Like I already knew. You know, yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. It was such a crazy. There's like feeling. no doubts yeah. and shit. Yeah, it was crazy. Do you still have that feeling for everything you do? Uh, it's definitely. I don't know why it hindered because it's like I had doubts in myself. It was like, can can I even get anything bigger than a po- than this podcast? Why? Why would you? Think because that? fam, this is big already. Like I really like took a sit down. I was like, fuck, bro. Like <laughs> this really? is already super big. Like sometimes it hinders because obviously like you're not looking at the bigger picture. Like, yeah. oh, if I can do this, I can definitely do something bigger. Mm. But it's like, yeah, I have sometimes doubts, but it's like, I, I usually have that feeling. I was like, yeah, I can do bigger. Mm-hmm. Now, you should always think like, you know how people say dream big? Yeah. It's because your dream is already, quote unquote, like a dream. So mm-hmm. if you dream small mm-hmm. and that's like what you think you can achieve yet, yeah. 
what do you think you're going to be? If you dream small, you have to dream. Don't even dream big. Dream gigantic, yeah, fam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dream fucking enormous. Not real shit. Dream colossal type <laughs> shit, you know? No, because if you don't, then it's just gonna be you're gonna you're gonna fall lower than that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So for me, was like answering your question, like, uh, oh, did you think of the podcast? Yeah. In my head, and this is just definitely my ego talking too, mm-hmm. but it's like this shit is just baby food. Like I'm gonna do something way, way, way more impressive. I just haven't done it yet, more. or it's not time for it yet. Yeah. No, that's good though that you have, that I'm surrounded by mans like that because a lot of my friends like do are doing something big right now Mm -hmm. and like being in that friend group just makes me want like motivates me every day even though i have like doubts and shit in the shower like i'll i'll see ethan i'll be like oh yeah i can do this shit Mm -hmm. (laughs) wait why huh why no because it's like uh oh if he has this car yeah i can get this car fam it's fucking ethan like i have a conversation with him every day like Mm -hmm. i know i'm smarter than that guy like Mm -hmm. you feel me like so a regular because it's like next door yeah it's literally in front of me dog Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah, honestly. <clears throat> but I think if you're delusional... Remember when I said, like, uh, if you're delusional, it's a superpower? No, but it's good. That's like, what I'm saying. If you're delusional enough, let's say you're crazy, mm-hmm. and then you you think, like, your homies online... Yeah. Let's say, like, uh, celebrities or whoever are actually your homies, and you talk to them and pretend like they're actually there. Yeah. It would have the same effect, no? Fam, I'm telling you, I was so delusional back then. If you looked at my old Instagram, I was already posting stories like I was Instagram. I would be like... Oh, taking a break, gonna design. Like, no one cared. Like, there was 20 people watching me. Like, no one cared. But, like, I was so delusional in my, like, in, like, my feelings that I I knew I was gonna... But what is considered delusional? Like, what if it's just... If people look at you weird. But what is weird now? I don't know. You get me? Like... Yeah, weird is... (laughs) Weird isn't even weird no more. (laughs) Low-key. Oh, shit. That's, like... That's, like, life is... My head think now. Is weird or, yeah, weird is Loki not even weird no more because everyone looks the same. No. Yeah. No, relax. Bro, not everybody looks the same. Not everyone, but like like there's groups, like everyone's trying to look the same. And they're trying to be weird. No, 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 no. Like opium guys, they <laughs> no, think they're no, weird. No. There's a whole cult of no, opium. No, 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 no. That, I don't even think they're weird. That's a regular thing. That's a trend. That's a trend. Yeah. No, there's weird people <clears throat> out there, bro. Oh, you're talking like like sick. No, like. there's weird people out there, fam. Like relax. There's yeah. you're just dis- right. you're discrediting some mans, bro. You're discredi- I'm, think- I'm thinking base level. Like. <laughs> no, like yeah, there's there's some weirdos, bro. <laughs> some weirdos. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. But I think, look, I think the term like delusional, mm-hmm. it's almost it's almost out of out of place of like jealousy is like. They shouldn't be thinking like that mm-hmm. because I don't think it's regular. You know? I don't think like, for someone to say something's delusional, mm-hmm. is that not talking about somebody else that's not them? It's not them. Right? Like, you wouldn't... Would you really say, like, oh, I'm delusional? Like, yourself is delusional? Probably not, yeah, right? Yeah, there's not really It's any, probably, like, like, seeing somebody that you, they're doing something that you don't think is, like, I guess regular yeah because the him and then you regular. would call it that right yeah so i think it i th- that's why that's why i have a thing about words right now i'm really trying to see who uses what words yeah this is interesting as fuck like i'm actually dead ass like studying people seeing what words they use okay and seeing their character and how almost like they they move themselves mm. because it, it all yeah it coincides like yeah. It, it's all together and i think those type of words those negative type of words mm-hmm. if we start cutting them out or if we start seeing them at different lights, it'll give us a lot of, like, yeah. I guess, intuition on things. Mm, and, like, the aura brightens type shit. Yeah. Like, like your aura will not, not be, like... The understanding won't be their understanding. It'll be your understanding yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. Because right now, mm-hmm. what we've learned is usually an understanding of somebody else. But we don't really know what's... Yo, bag that! Yeah. So, everything we know is, is an understanding of somebody... A lot of what we know, sorry. A yeah. lot of what we know is another understanding somebody else taught us. Unless we learned it ourselves and it became our understanding. Yeah. And usually when we learn it from ourselves, we know the true. That's the truth. You know, yeah, yeah. that is the truth. Fuck. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's so true because it's like we see a, we see like a, a homeless guy going on like their morning routine and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And that's normal for them. But we look at them super weird. But... At the end of the day, they're that's normal. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. would you ever trade your life with like? A, no, like you know who would Joe? <laughs> Joe said that that was the craziest shit I've ever heard on a podcast. He's like, yo, I would really want to start from zero again, like homeless, 
because I would be more motivated to like go up again. I was like, what the? Fuck? That's that's a good point though. It's it like, is a good point, but it was so. It's, that's such a crazy statement. Hmm. I don't. I don't think it's. Yeah, it is fucking crazy. Yeah, but I feel like it, it makes sense because it's like you wouldn't really want to. Let's say you lost motivation. How do you gain motivation back? How do you gain motivation? You have to put yourself in a position to to need it, right? Yeah. There's this thing I heard. That it was like, true. if you if you constantly think, um, oh, I can't spend money on this. I gotta save it. I can't spend money on this. I can't. Save it. Then you're just automatically gonna be broke forever. Yeah. And it's your mindset that's broke. Mm-hmm. It's not. It, the rich is like low key the mindset. Like yeah. sure you can have like abundance of money in your bank account, but if you think about it. Let's say let's say you you spend your money all the time on whatever you want and whatever you need. Mm-hmm. Your mindset should be okay. I'm gonna make more money yeah. anyway, so I can get what I need. I know because usually you get what you need. Yeah. Period. I know, which is like you see that in celebrities, like they'll be like the richest, mm-hmm. but I don't know why. But they're they're always the the saddest. I don't know why because it's like they see shit on social media talking talking that will get them down and move, but they don't see the. The whole picture, like, fam, you're rich. Yeah. Like, just look, look at, look at what's around you. But I'm not to say like you should be smart with your money and stuff. Yeah, obviously, <laughs> you're obviously. like dumb with your money. I know, I know. I remember the first, the first thing you told me was like always spend your check when you're when you're living with your parents because soon, as soon as you move out, I told and, you, and I, I told you. Oh my god. I'm like, fuck, I want that, but fuck, I, I need to pay for friends. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, we we don't we don't realize like shit. Yeah. There's so much. There's so much um responsibilities we don't have yet. Yeah. Like, imagine how much your life is going to change when you have a kid. Oh, man. And then you can't even do shit no more. Yeah. So I don't know if I want kids or right One of my boys that I was talking to, like, since we're, we're getting to that age where usually, like, uh, a whole bunch of, like, guys our age are, like, having kids and shit. No. No, no, right like, now? Like, no, like, our generation is going to have, like, they're maybe, starting like, to get, four yeah, or five they're, years. they're starting to get married. And, like, they're starting to like a thing. He said the funny shit. He was like, yo, if, like, uh, I accidentally have a kid, he's like, Yo, I'm not even gonna be mad at the kid. Like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be like scared of my mom. Like, Why? She's gonna be disappointed. She's gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> like, she doesn't care if he's gonna have a kid. It's like the mom's gonna beat your ass. <laughs> oh yeah. But that's that's so true. Like, I, I saw a thing too in the states. Uh, if you have a kid, since their their healthcare isn't free mm-hmm. and they have to pay all the hospital bills, to have a kid, it's like 16k for the room. It's like uh, 20k for the for the surgery. Oh shit! And for for a childbirth. Yes, and it's like another seven to f- five to seven k for like all the, the things after. And it's like, like it's I, not free for y'all. No, what? That's crazy. There's no health. There's no free healthcare in America. Damn, Canada is free for us. That's why whenever you like you travel, I asked you. I was like, do you get like insurance? And health insurance. Health insurance. And you're like, nah, fuck that. So get out, bro. Get some vitamins, man. <laughs> bro, my my friend broke his arm oh, in uh, on, in a basketball tourney in New York, and yeah. he had to pay like seven to twelve k. Holy shit! Rinsed, rinsed. That's crazy. <clears throat> I'm telling you, shit. Canada's not that bad, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, no, Canada is still pretty bad. It's, like it's it's kind of like it's yeah. not managed well. Yeah, like I'm grateful every day that I'm in the position I'm in because I I see a lot of people as like they're still stuck, like they're still stuck in this thing where it's like. Housing is so expensive, and then like, you have to work maybe like two to three jobs to actually just get to live, not just like survive. Like a lot of people yeah. are here surviving. I think, I think what's happening is like there's gonna be a a crazy uh, divide of like rich and poor. Mm. There's gonna be so much rich people and so much poor people. Yeah, but like it could be just everybody closer to the middle. Yeah. You know what I mean? But nah, it's gonna be like. The poorest of the poor and then the yeah. richest of the rich, mm-hmm. you know, rather than just like people a little bit closer. Cause that's what happens yeah. to inflation, mm-hmm. it's like adding more and more. And then the, cause the money, you know what I mean? It's just adding numbers. Yeah. So let's say it inflates like 5%, mm-hmm. damn, 5% to like a population of a country. It's crazy. That's actually. a lot. Yeah. That's fucked. But that, I mean, that's, that's looking at the agenda they're pushing. They're always trying to, what do you call this, divide us? Yeah, so it's like oh, I seen this crazy shit too in the, I think it was a Russian Supreme Court. Yeah, yeah. you know how like it's a room that nobody sees. Mm-hmm. So somebody took a bird's eye view picture, and um the desk is an eye. Nah. And and eyebrow like you know lashes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like lashes and like the so. It's, it's, Why is shit always an I eye, fam? Everything's always an yeah, eye. Yeah, it's bro. weird. It's weird. I don't the, know. The craziest <laughs> one, you know, the Vatican. The Vatican. Yeah, yeah. There's like a there's like a Jesus. And it looks like 
It's weird. I'm gonna show you a picture yeah, yeah, of it. Show me, show me. I'm gonna show you a picture of it. But it's it's like a bunch of wood and it's shaped really weird. But I people are I've saying it. it it's supposed to be Jesus, but it doesn't. It looks like almost like a serpent. Oh, like it looks fuck. like a, a snake, fam. Look. So the Vatican's actually what? Vatican um Jesus. Look. Look at this. It see. it looks it looks scary. Let me see. Does that look what scary? The fuck? This isn't the Vatican fam. Look, that's the Pope. <laughs> But you see up here, it's supposed to be Jesus. That's Jesus? That looks like yeah, an alien. Yeah, but see how like the head looks like this? Uh -huh. Doesn't it look like a snake head and like an eye? Yeah. But that's supposed to be like Jesus and his hair. And like, is this supposed to be all like the tail and shit like that? Or the water? I don't know, bro. But it, doesn't it look like skulls and stuff? Yeah, what? It's weird. That's, that's what I'm saying. No, like, that's kind of suspicious. It, it's mad suspicious. Because the Pope, that's where the Pope sits, fam. And everyone... And everyone Acknowledges the Pope. Hold on, hold on. They're, try, they're trying to, yo, they're trying to get us. Hold on, because <laughs> there's there's more too. Yeah. But they're saying like this looks like a serpent head too. Let me see. This is the Vatican as well. Oh yeah, that, that's the fangs, fam. Yeah, the fangs and the and eyes the, <laughs> and then the scales. No, no, no. It's like right in front of us, bro. Yeah, that shit is right in front. But of I us. don't know. Mm -hmm. I, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There, it's there was yeah. suspicious. There, there was some shit too where um, th this was probably the crazy shit I seen like haunted wise. Because um, I don't know if you ever heard of the the San Pedro haunting. Nah. So uh, from all my other stories, like you know how I don't have pictures and shit. Yeah. Like every picture that and video that I'm gonna show you is real life evidence. This is your pictures. No, 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 no. I'm not, not my pictures, but like somebody took it. The oh, person. okay, yeah. okay. So there was this house that a, a lady was living in. I think she was a, a single mom. Yeah, yeah. And she was taking care of like I think two little boys, mm -hmm. and. I think she bought it in 1988. And when the, uh, she bought it, she already noticed weird shit going around. Like, Lily, I'll show you the video. There was light orbs. Oh, fuck. Light orbs flying across the room, fam. Nah. I'll show you the Here, let me let me show you this first. Look. This is not just like the, the ceiling light or no? No, fam. Those are orbs. Those are orbs. And there's pictures and shit like that. And like, Just moving around. Yeah. And like... Uh, when when she like went to sleep, yeah. she would have days and days of sleep paralysis. Oh and shit! And in her bed, she would get shoved. Nah. Yeah. And when she got up, she would look at at the bed, yeah, and yeah, there yeah. would be burn marks. What the fuck? Yeah. So the whole thing is like the whole thing of this house in the attic is where the the uh, a demon is supposed to live, and she knows this. And in her interview, she was like. Oh, like this is not my house. It's that. It's his house. Like, Damn. Like, she so why is she still there? Is she, like she accepted it? No, she like she didn't know at first. Like she she didn't know if it was real or not. Yeah. So like um, I think one of her um her ex husband, she she he thought that she was doing the, all of this for attention and shit. Yeah. So she went. He went in, and this was all on the news. And there was a video of him saying, "Oh." If the demon's in here right now, I want you to show me. That's fog. Obviously, the demon's not gonna show me. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> okay, yo, chill, chill. Chill, gang. Yeah. That was smart. Cause you, you switched it up. You switched it up with this. <laughs> this. That was good. That was good. Fuck that. Fuck, that. Fuck my story. I'm not gonna <laughs> not gonna finish it. Finish it no, oh my god. So yeah, so he was like, you know, if, if the thing's here, like I want you to show me. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, the the thing's not gonna be like he's not gonna show anything right away, right? Yeah. And then what happened? So, uh, Jackie, the person who lives there, yeah, goes into the closet after he leaves and says all this bullshit. Mm. And in the closet, it's Al written everywhere. So Who the fuck is Al? The ex husband's <laughs> name. So yo, the, wait, the, wait, wait. the person that said, yo, do something, didn't do anything. She went in the closet. His name is written all across the closet. Wait, so is it the ex-husband? What? It, no, no. Like the demon wrote his name. The demon wrote his name all, all across the closet, right? Okay. So after that, she was like, no, nah, fuck this. Like she knows my ex-husband's name and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. So she called the, the paranormal guys, mm -hmm. right? And the paranormal guys came with a camera, right? And in the video... Uh, I'll put it on, on screen. They they were already hearing the footsteps up above when they came. Oh shit! So it's like, oh, I know <laughs> you're here. Active, yeah, man. so this it's like, active. I know you're here. I'm I, I'm gonna guard it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. They took one picture, right? Went down, looked at it. Took another picture, right? Came down. Third picture, the thing ripped off the lens and threw it across the room. Oh shit! The camera. And they were like, they were like, fuck! Like this shit is real. Like it's yeah, really yeah, guarding yeah. its territory. So they came back, they, they went home and came back, 
and this is where it ended because they, they all fled after this. So the guy w- wanted to go up and take another picture again. The the thing up there took like a wire and took it and put it on a nail. No. So the guy was like swinging there. No. And, uh, and unless there was a ladder there, he would have died. Fuck. You want to hear, the, see, you wanna hear the steps? You want to hear the steps? I'll show you. So listen closely. Oh shit! You hear it? Yo, this looks like one of those um the actual ghost hunting uh TV shows back in the day. Oh That's yeah, what it looks like. No, no, I, I, no, I think I think this was done from a channel, Loki. Oh, like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I, I know I know I've seen some crazy shit like that. Before. Damn, but it's fuck, bro. Okay, we'll, we'll end it soon. Yeah, yeah. But, Don't um, end it on that, though. No, I'm not going to end on that. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. There, there's a theory. Like, there's this, this theory that we said so many times ago. <laughs> but there's a revamp to this theory, and I just never noticed it. Oh, yeah? So, you know how the theory goes, uh, Tupac died, Yeah. but he's actually alive. Yeah, he's like in Barbados or some shit like yeah. that. I didn't know, fam. You know the, the last picture of Tupac in the car with Suge Knight? Yeah. There's no keys in the ignition. What? In the picture. The last picture of Tupac, fam. There's no keys in the ignition. <laughs> wait, so, wait, so what does that mean, though? Like That means it was staged. Oh. So not only was there no keys in the ignition, they also claimed they asked all of the people. Yeah. Like, they look for bystanders everywhere. Uh-huh. Nobody heard gunshots. Oh, <laughs> fuck. And on top of that, just just look at the pic, fam. Yeah, let me see. And so, I, we just never took it in. We just never looked that deep at the pic. That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. Look, Tupac. <laughs> so they, they had a plan to just go sit in the car and stay. <laughs> yeah, so that was like the plan to make it the last picture of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is in the parking lot, a lie? Or no, no, no. Look, look, look. Look closely. Let me see. Let me see. It's, a, it's an empty key. Like, there's nothing. <laughs> Yo, there's nothing. What the fuck? Yeah, nah. Like it's not even. It's literally empty. And Wait, and what? this is not. This is not no push to start, fam. This is yeah. Like, I was gonna say, is it a no, no, no. This, no way. this is way, 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 way back. And this car, it, it wouldn't have a push to start. Yeah. So, bro, is definitely in Barbados somewhere. And like, what happened to Shug? Like, they, I don't know. Well, like, Shug is locked up. Yeah, Shug is locked up. But is he really locked up for? Maybe it's just like they're trying to hide him because they might. No, bro. You. It's a theory. It's a theory, yeah. fam. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can only hear that sh- <laughs> That's fucked Alright thank you everyone For watching this episode Of the Jumper Zone Podcast sure. Make sure you comment Like subscribe All that good stuff uh, Make sure to go on Spotify Apple Download this podcast We love you guys man And yeah hey. Go check out our Instagram And check out my other channel Link in the description below yes, Jumpers Jump out Deuces